The growth of high-tech industries has created demand in rare earth elements, and now the United States government is considering it a national priority to increase the supply. So new tonight, ABC Action News reporter Rebecca Petit looks into what these elements are and how a local university is now working to change the import-reliant supply chain. Researchers in Bartow are hoping to boost the supply of rare earth elements. They're found in things we use every single day, like cell phones and electric vehicles. We will collect some of the leachate material, some of the liquid, and we will test that to see if it pulled out some of the rare earth. We can't see rare earth elements with the naked eye, but the production of computers, solar panels, fighter jets, and much more all rely on a steady supply of it. Now the U.S. relies mostly on China for this critical element. And we don't have a secure domestic uh, source for these materials. Researchers at Florida Poly's Florida Industrial and Phosphate Research Institute are working to build a more robust supply of rare earth elements in the U.S. And the government has recognized that. They've actually issued a national security directive and that's why there is available funding from a variety of government sources to help with this research. A $150,000 grant from the Department of Energy allows the team to study and extract rare earth elements from phosphate byproducts taken from the nearby Mosaic Company. We add, a, we have a digestion acid. The sample is turned into a solution by burning off acids and filtering. So we filter our sample. We have a filter paper up top that collects all of these solid materials. Once all of this happens, it goes into a machine to collect data to see if the rare earth elements were extracted successfully. Researchers are hoping to receive a second grant to build a demonstration plant. In Bartow, Rebecca Petit, ABC Action News.